this is Kevin from CC Pipe, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And sometimes uh, we get to do creative things, but other times you just need to produce content. And today I'll be showing you how to save a lot of time if you, for example, need to make price tags in Adobe InDesign. And for that, we will be using the Smart Text Reflow feature. And uh, what is that exactly? Well, it's really quite straightforward. With this enable, InDesign will create new pages and link new text boxes when there is overset text. And how do we use that in practice exactly? Well, for my price tag example, that would mean you make the first price box for one price tag and uh, then InDesign creates the rest for you. But I think this is really one of those things that is a lot easier to explain by showing it. So that's why we will be jumping into Adobe InDesign. One thing I want to clear first, in case you're not familiar with it already, this whole technique is based on linked text boxes, which works something like this. You create a text box and it can then be linked to another one so that the story will continue there. So I, if I fill this with placeholder text and uh, make it not fit in the box, now when I click here and drag out a box, it will now be linked. And as you can see, the text continues in the next box. And if you can't see these um, these threads, by the way, they can be enabled under View, Extras, and Show Text Threads. And uh, that's great. Let's get to the Smart Text Reflow feature. For that, I have a document set up and an Excel list with data that we will use to create these price tags. And of course, we want each row here to be one price tag. And to start us off, I want to format the text, which I'll be doing with Grep. Now, I have a video on grep already, which I'll put on screen, so I won't go over this that much. But the key here is that after each price, which is the last row for each price tag, we want a frame break. And that can be found under type and break characters, by the way. And this means that every after every price, it will make sure it moves over to a new text box, which in this case will be a new page. And uh, I'll run these presets and uh, what these are doing is they are taking away the tabs from Excel, which we get from each new column and putting things on its own row and also applying formatting and of course the frame break at the end. Now we only see the first item because of the frame break, but it is all now in this text box. Next we need to enable the smart reflow feature and that is done under edit preferences and type and here at the bottom we have this checkbox which I will enable and if we don't check this one limit to primary text frame it will reflow text from any text box which I think usually isn't what you'd want so we check that one and I'll show you in a second how to make a primary text frame and lastly I'm also going to check the delete empty pages one as well which will do just that Okay, primary text boxes are made in the master and I have one here. And if I right click on this one, we can see that I have checked the primary option. And this text box will then be available when you drag out a page of this master. And now we have everything set up, so it's time for the magic. We can select everything in here with control A. And now I'm just going to paste this into this text box, which is the primary one. And it might take a second, but InDesign will now start laying out pages for us. And since we set up our text with frame breaks, we are now pretty much done. And isn't that pretty amazing? And a nice bonus as well, since we used primary text frames, is that we can go into the master and actually move the text box. Something like this. And now that will be adjusted on all pages, which is pretty cool, I think. And that's all folks, and uh, this is something that can definitely save you a lot of tedious time that can be used for more productive tasks instead, and uh, I hope you'll find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, it helps me out a lot. And also, if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you, and until next time, have a good one.